Okay. Here's the hazards of going through a junction, past a junction. Put on a root rat nozzle. When it goes up a line, it'll quite happily go straight ahead. See the slight kink in the hose? There's always a bit of a kink in the hose. If you're clever, you'll get it going up here. Once it's under pressure, it'll pull itself straight and it'll go straight up. It'll miss that junction. However, you put the root cutting turbo on, when it gets in the drain, it sits up on an angle like that quite aggressively. So it comes up a drain like this, and you're coming up slowly with it. If you're going quick, it'll go straight past that junction. If you're coming up slowly, you'll want to take a branch line. And before you know it, of course, today won't do it. Before you know it, up it goes. So if you come up a branch line, you don't want it to go up there. It'll take a branch line quite easily. Now it's probably gone up, smashed the back out of a toilet, and it's cost you a fortune. So always go straight up the line with the turbo, it'll go straight up, dilly dally, it'll take a branch line, like that, and it's all over. Now don't get me wrong, if you want it to go up that branch line, it'll do it, you just twist it to the right, when you're heading up that way, you keep twisting to the right, and it'll go up there, but otherwise let it shoot straight up. Now, let's say you're coming downstream, this is where you get your real trouble. So you're jetting down here quite happily and it's swinging around in the drain and you're twisting it it can turn around like this and go straight up here when it goes up there imagine how hard it is to get past this angle and the damage it does to your hose so you'll sit there and you try and pull back under pressure and it'll sit there and it'll just get stuck like that you'll be going what the heck why is it getting stuck what have i done what you've done wrong is you've twisted the hose on the way down. You've got to let it shoot straight down and only twist it when you're coming back. Because if you twist when it's going down and it's sitting up on an angle like this, at this position here, it has a little twist, up it goes, and see you later. Sometimes you get them out, most times you don't. So if you're coming back, maybe it's cool like that. Oh, yes. And if you're really unlucky, twisting around, you can get stuck on the V there. Always let it go, or pull the hose and let it snap back again, and then have another go. It gets caught there again, pull it back, give it a good twist, and then pull it back and it'll miss it. So it's all about feeling what's in the drain, a little bit like fishing. So just have a good feel of it, and you'll know what's going on. So when it's running, it pushes on a big angle like that. So it could be on any angle of the pipe. The other problem you get is square inspection openings in a drain. It can be going along, get stuck up. If this is capped off, it'll sit there, it'll wedge itself like that, and it won't come out. Normally the little inserts are sitting in here. If there's no insert and it's not raised up, it'll just sit like that, get jammed. You won't get it out unless you've got an extension on your jetter, and that'll stop it. Here's an extension. The one I prepared earlier. The one I prepared earlier. And when it goes around, it won't want to go up there because it's too long. It'll go straight past it. It also helps in situations like this. If you're going up in the drain, it finds it very difficult to turn around in the pipe because it's just too big. So that extension stops you getting caught up junctions. Disadvantage of it? Disadvantage, you can't get through gullies properly because it's just too long. So if you're worried about it, run it this way. We do have another version of the extension which just snaps on. It's a little extension that snaps onto here. You can snap it on, take it off to go around a gully, or just snap it on in line when you need it. Here's another form of extension. Snap it on, snap it on, and that'll never turn around. That's impossible. So if you're using larger diameter pipes, we have extensions all different lengths. So if you want to do a 300 mil pipe, put a 300 mil extension. When you finish with it, snap it off, back you go again. Over in our nozzle box over here, the large nozzle box comes with spare tails. 
to screw onto the quick release. These quick releases have an o-ring in here to stop silt getting in and an o-ring inside. It's a double silt proof painted o-ring with eight stainless balls. If you've got a really tight drain to go down, As screw opposed it. to the six that the other have. <laughs> yes, we're not going to bag out a competition today. <laughs> this is about loving our competitors. Uh, if you've got a really tight drain to go down, you can screw your quick release off, screw on a little adapter with a compressor on the end, makes it really small. If you've got a really tight blockage, put the bullet on, it's really smooth, it's got a really narrow cone, can get stuck out of the pipe if there's a hole in the pipe. Standard penetrating head is your penetrator, three rear, one forward. It's got the large cone to protect the sheath. And this box comes with a root rat with jets out of the front, out of the back and out of the nose. Negotiator, nice round gully nozzle, do nice round traps and bends. And you've got a small compressor for smaller pipes. Uh, the kit also comes with just a negotiator nozzle on its own if you want it really short, those really tight traps and things. We're going through a cast iron stack or a toilet bowl. It's also a little tip cleaner. So if you want to clean out the nozzles, poke it in, give it a little twist. Be very gentle with this. It is hardened steel but they can break. It's also an Allen key so you can go up the back of the nozzle and separate the head. So if you're doing a drain, I'd probably go for your pointed nozzle first, going through a gully around a nozzle, then you must put the root cutting turbine down and twist and cut the roots when you're finished. Make sure you twist and cut that area, work a couple of metres past it before it, and just spend a fair bit of time working that area. Terrific.